What's up, flamethrowers? It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog, here, and welcome to episode 20 of Ask the Sonic Crew. That is right, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached episode 20. And for this, and for this special occasion, I brought on some very special guests. That is right, guys. Uh, they haven't been on the channel for a long, long time. The only time they've been on was during the Christmas costume party. That was the last time you guys ever saw them. And guess what? They are making a huge comeback. And I'm going to try and get them back onto the channel more and more. But everybody, please say hello to the Goddess Sisters, otherwise known as Team Goddesses. <laughs> everybody, please welcome back after a long, long time. Susano, the goddess of storms, and, of course, the goddess of the ocean. Why, hello everyone. It has been a long time, unless Flame is trying to keep us from something. No, I'm not trying to keep you from something, Susano. I promise, I'm not. Next, we have Amaterasu, the goddess of the sun. Hello, everybody! It has been a long time. Yeah, it has been a long time. <laughs> and I see you're still your cheerful, fun-loving self. Yep, I am. I'm always trying to keep everybody happy. After all, I am the goddess of the sun. Yeah, I know. And last but not least, we have Tsuyami, the goddess of the moon. Why, hello, everyone. <laughs> Just a simple greeting? Yes. I am always the simple one, because I am very smart. Yes, I know. You're very smart and very talented. Anyway, anyway, and to co-host with me is somebody very, very special. <laughs> somebody very, very special. Someone who know these girls very, very well. Everybody, please welcome everybody. Please welcome their version of Sonic, which is Super Sonic X Universe Sonic, or SSXU Sonic. <laughs> so go ahead, other brother, say hello. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sonic the Hedgehog here. Hey, babes. Hey, Sonic. How you doing, Sonic? Hi, Sonic. <laughs> Yeah, well, anyway, that's right, guys. I have their version of Sonic here with me as my co-host. So, uh, tell me, real quick, uh, Sonic, how is your version of me? Oh, well, he's pretty much the same as you, but he's a whole lot more of a player than me. I mean, you see me in bed with almost every single girl from my universe, but... He's mainly in bed with the goddesses, mainly the council. Oh yeah, the go oh yeah, the goddesses, the council, the council. Oh yeah, Ka Kami Masubi, uh, Toy Toma, Inashishi, and Ben Zaiten. I remember them. In fact, I've been trying. In fact, I'm trying to get a hold of Inashishi and Ben Zaiten for a while. Um, what's going on with them? Oh, well, you know, they are the goddesses of love. <laughs> and, let's just say... Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that's okay. Well, anyway, without further ado, let's get started with this thing of Ask the Sonic Crew and Asking Team Goddess. Okay, so anyway, so the first question here is for Susano. So, Susano, what is it like, what was it like battling Sonic? Oh, well, let's just say battling Sonic was pretty interesting. I mean, all those times where I punched him in the face, cracked his knuckles, and all sorts of other things to him. That's just all out of love. Yeah, and trust me, Susano is the last person to, you know, show her love to me. I mean, sure, we did get married and we did have a child, but let's just say <laughs> the main thing that she always does to express her love is mainly just punch me in the face, and I do bleed a lot. Yeah, trust me, I have seen Supersonic X Universe a whole mess of a lot. A whole mess of a lot, and there's a whole bunch of blood, 
and a whole bunch of, I don't know, explosions and a lot of, you know, the. But anyway, <laughs> thanks for that answer, I'm Susano. But there is one thing. I absolutely do love Sonic. I mean, he's the whole reason why we even came to his world in the first place. Because I was drawn to him. Oh, so that's it. Yes, and if you can see on my hand, if I take my glove off, see, right here, it's a special Chinese symbol. It means love. Yeah, and I have one too. Oh, so that means you two are bonded together. Yep, that's right. And so we got married, and then we had a child. <sighs> but then, right before we even had that child, Sonic decided to stay back on his world after becoming a god, and he was supposed to come back with us, back to our world, but he went, but he decided to stay back in his world. Oh, I get it. I mean, what, I mean, what can you expect? I mean, taking me out of the, I mean, taking me out of my own world, it's almost like taking Superman out of his world. I mean, we all have our own worlds to protect, and you goddesses barely do anything. All you do is just watch over us, and you keep the universe in balance. Well, that is our job. Okay, okay, okay. Before this thing starts turning into a great big fight, um, let's just continue on with this. Okay, so the next question here is for... Ooh, Tisuyami. Okay, so Tisuyami. Um, when you and Sonic went to find information about the council, um, what exactly happened during the last few days? Oh, well, um, we were actually just training and doing all kinds of things. Yes, we've been going through all my books, I've been practicing my magic, and all sorts of other things too. But the one thing Sonic really couldn't do is keep his eyes and hands to himself. Hey, what can I ex hey, what can I say? I'm in the presence of a beautiful lady. I mean, I have no choice but to stare. Really, dude? I mean, come on. You had to face off against all seven goddess all seven members of the council and all you can think about was Tisuyami. I mean, what can I ex I mean, what can I say? It's like I said like I said before, I was in the presence of a beautiful woman. I mean, hello. Okay, okay, I do have a point. Okay, you do have a point. I mean, if I was locked inside my... I mean, if I was locked inside a room with nobody but my wife, I couldn't... And I had to face off against seven people the next day. Yeah, I wouldn't keep my eyes off my wife either. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, so you see what I mean. Okay, okay, thanks a lot for that. And thank you for the answer, Tsuyami. Okay, um... Okay, so the next question here is for, ooh, Amaterasu. So, Amaterasu, um, how the heck can your shield just be floating right near your tail or right behind you? Oh, well, it's all magic. But, you see, I actually have an invisible thing on my back. It's not, you can't see it, but only I can see it. And it keeps my shield floating. And other times, I can just, you know, just put it down and do all kinds of things with it. But, I barely put my shield down. You know, if you want, I can have a look at it, and so that way we can strap on to, to your back. Oh, no, 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 no. It is forbidden for mortals to touch our weapons. See? Sonic, heck, even Sonic needed him, our weapons. But we showed him not to underestimate the gods and goddesses because you see no because you see it is forbidden for people to touch my shield and my sword and my amulet okay 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 we get it nobody's gonna touch your shield your amulet or your sword we promise we're not gonna touch him okay well anyway we have a group question here so Okay, so, um, this question here is for all of you. Um, what is it like going into your transformations? I mean, your transformations are awesome and everything, but how does it feel to be in them? Well, our transformations are pretty cool. 
I mean, they showcase our full power. It's almost like when Sonic goes supersonic. Or around when Supersonic goes into Supersonic 4. Oh yeah, I forgot. This version of Sonic can go into Supersonic 4. Yep, that's right. Heck, I'm even trying to go further beyond into Supersonic 5. But I'm still in training. Yeah, and I hear that the gods and goddesses are actually training you pretty well. Yep, they are. <laughs> I mean, I am a god after all. I'm the god of speed. But sometimes I do forget I am a god. Yeah, I know, I know. But anyway, back to the question. Uh, you girls were answering this question. Yes, our transformations are actually pretty amazing, especially mine. No, you must be mistaken, Tsuyami. My transformation is far more superior than yours. I mean, I practically grow wings. My hair grows longer, and I have earrings and my amazing crown. Oh, wow, so your hair grows longer. I mean, what about my tails? I have, like, what, nine of them? Hey, you guys are looking at the different thing here. The one person who has an amazing transformation is definitely our mother. Oh, yes, our mother. I mean, with the rainbow wings and everything, you do have to admit, her transformation is a whole lot more superior than ours. Your mom? Oh yeah, I remember having your mom on the channel. It's been so long. You know, I should get in contact with her. Or maybe one of these days, or maybe one of these days, I ought to bring all of you here. The, go the goddesses as well. You know, just relax and chill with us. I mean, chill with me. And, and, and you know, you can meet my wife and everything. Hmm. Well, we do have to find time out of our busy schedule. I mean, you know, we are goddesses after all, and plus, you know, we are very, and plus, you are lucky that we didn't have anything else to do. Okay then, well, at least I managed to get you here. Whew. Okay, well anyway, thanks for answering those questions, uh, girls. Okay, so, uh, Sonic, you can go ahead and ask the next batch of questions here. Alright, so, this question here is for Susano. So, Susano, um, whatever happened to that stuffed hedgehog I gave you? Oh, well, I still have it. I still have it. It's a constant reminder of how much you do love me. And a constant reminder that you left me. And like I said, I couldn't leave my world. But, hey, look at the bright side. At least I do have access to head to your world anytime I want to. And so that way I can see my daughter. Yes, and your daughter is doing pretty well. I mean, just the other day, I caught her trying to do a spin dash. She really, really misses you, even though she doesn't really show, you know, she doesn't really know you all that well. Yes, that's why I'm trying to spend more time with my daughter. <sighs> but unfortunately, she only cares about you. Well, it's because I'm the one who raised her after all these years. I know. I'm trying to be a better father. Uh, I mean, I'm not really used to raising kids. So, yeah. Wow, and my version of Sonic is a great dad. <laughs> I mean, my niece Violet, she's actually doing pretty well. Wait, you have a niece? Yep, my version of Sonic and his aim and Amy, they actually got together, got married, and had a kid named Violet. And she's actually the and she's actually one of the singers of the famous song in Mobius, the famous group in Mobius. Well, second famous, <laughs> the Shimmer Girls, contained of my daughter Amber. Then there's my nie then there's my niece Violet. Then there's my god then there's my goddaughter. Um, sorry. Then there's my goddaughter uh, Solar. And last but not least, there is my very good friend, Maya, Maya Acorn. <laughs> She's the daughter of my best friend, Sally Acorn. Oh, don't get me started on the, the Sally, please. Oh, wait, you have a Sally in your universe? Yes, and she can't keep her hands to herself. Heck, almost every girl that I come across either wants to fight me or sleep with me. Ugh. I mean, 
I try not to sleep with so many girls, but for some reason, I always end up in a, I always end up in a bed with I don't know how many girls, which is just weird and cringe. And and all the time, Susano always beats the crap out of me. Yes, you say that you love me, but yet I wake up next to I don't know how many girls sleeping next to you. Look, I was out, okay? Okay, okay, like I said before, before this thing starts turning into a great big fight, can we please just stop this? I mean, can we please just move on? Right, okay, so this question here is for Amaterasu. So, Amaterasu, um, is it true that you were really jealous of me? For spending so much time with Susano? At the time, yes, I was. But at least we did have... Yes, because you see, even though she was my sister, I still loved her very, very much. I mean, I practically raised her. Even though, like I said, she is the youngest out of all the three of us. But still, I did kind of have part in, you know, training her into being what she is now. And I just kind of got jealous after when she started paying more attention to you and less to me. So I got jealous and I started hating you. But then after that, we kind of came into an agreement that we out that she may have, you know, had less interest in me. But we shared one thing in common. You, Sonic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do love all three of you. I mean, that's why I'm with you three and the goddesses. And practically almost every single girl. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad I don't live in that universe. Ugh. Well, there's another version of you that lives in that universe. And listen, like I said before, he's a better player than you. Hey, I'm a one-woman man, okay? And sure, I may have a lot of exes, but... I love my wife and child, okay? There's no other girl I would be with than my wife, Sarah, okay? I love her very, very much, and I'm not gonna cheat on her, okay? I'm not cheating on her, and I would never, ever leave her, okay? That's how much I love her, okay? That's how much I love her. Wow, so you really love your wife? Absolutely. I absolutely love my wife, okay? And plus, she's been by my side through the hardest time these past few days. I mean, ever s I mean, she almost got kidnapped by the by the by the DC villain Vain by the, by the DC villain Bane. Um I was stuck inside the hospital for a few days for a week straight. I had my I, I got the bad news that I couldn't fly anymore, and she practically been by my side through my whole coma. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you this guys. Um after when I got my rings whipped after when I got my wings ripped off, Bane put me in a coma for a whole week. For a week. He put me in a coma for a week. And I did lose a lot of blood, but luckily the nurses actually did help me. The nurses actually helped me and believe it or not, Rouge, she helped me because after all she was a nurse. She was a nurse and Amy, she helped me a lot too. She nursed me back to health and and of course Roxy and Sal and, and of course Roxy and Sarah they kept me company and you know and then the day Shadow came around and told me the story about the six crystals which by the way ladies and gentlemen I have all six crystals now so by tomorrow I will be getting my wings back <laughs> yeah hallelujah so by tomorrow ladies and gentlemen I will be getting my wings back. That's right, guys. <laughs> oh, God, I really can't wait. Anyway. Oh, sorry, I kind of drifted away from the from the thing here about you, you know, Amaterasu getting jealous. No, it's okay. And I also heard about what happened to your wings. I'm very sorry. I'm okay. It's okay. And thanks to Shadow, I also have this new um look here. I mean, I'm black and red like him, but it's... I really do hope it wears off because I really do miss being white and orange. I really do miss being white and orange. I mean, I really do miss it. But anyway, go ahead, Sonic, and ask the next question. Alright, this question here is for Tsuyami. Um, Tsuyami, um, which would you rather prefer? Um... 
doing magic or just hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because I know you're the smart one of the group, so I guarantee you, you would pick the right one. So, which would it be? Magic or hand-to-hand -hand combat? Well, I am the master at both. But if I had to choose one, I would definitely like to pick hand-to-hand -hand combat. Because the reason why is I want to do something so that way I don't really rely on my magic all that much. Oh, I get it. Because, well, honestly, I would like to do something so that way I don't have to focus on my fire all that much. I mean, I am really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat and all sorts of other stuff. I mean, I am practically a ninja. <laughs> But unfortunately, I sold my dojo to my best friend, SBO. But still, but still, I am really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat and all sorts of other things. And I am really good with magic and and I'm also really good at shape-shifting. Yeah, you guys don't know this, but dragon hogs are shape-shifters. <laughs> yeah, it's just that I don't really use my shape-shifting powers often. I really don't. But it's still okay. But anyway, um, group question. Go ahead, Sonic. Ask it. Alright then. So, um, ladies, is it true that you girls were really, really disappointed when you guys had to go back home after helping me defeat the evil? Well, to be honest, we were kind of sad. Yeah, we were really kind of sad. I mean, I had a good time on Earth. I mean, there were so many delicious treats there, so many activities to do, and a whole bunch of fun people to meet. But... We're gods. We ha can't stay on Earth for too long. Really? I mean, if I remember correctly, you stayed on Earth for almost a year. Well, yes, we did. We stayed on Earth for a whole year. Heck, we even spent Christmas with you, Sonic. Yeah, I know. A Merry Christmas to me. What was my gift? 50,000 girls, 50, girls and one hedgehog, you know under the mistletoe. Ugh, it was crazy. Okay, okay, I forgot to mention this, guys. Let's keep the flirting and the pee and the, you know, the <coughs> stuff uh, to a minimum, okay? Oh, well, all right then. You understand? Yes, we understand. Understood. Okay, good, because I really want this video to get monetized, okay? But anyway, um... Okay, so I'm asking the next question. Okay, so that's it for the questions from the fans. Um, next up is the questions from me and your version of Sonic. Okay, so my question here is for all three of you, actually. So, um, girls, what? who is your worst enemy? If you had to choose one, who is your worst enemy? Well, if I had to choose one, I would definitely pick Toitoma. Wait a minute. Susano, you would pick Toitoma? Oh yeah, I forgot. You two are actually enemies. Yes, we are actually enemies. Because the reason why is she's upset with me because I stole her spotlight as goddess of storms. When clearly she's actually more fitting to be the goddess of water. Wow, okay. But anyway, um... But anyway, uh, Toitoma, Amaterasu, um, who are your mortal enemies? Well, I would definitely... Well, it was Sonic at first. Hey. Well, it's okay. It's okay. I don't hate you anymore. But if I had to choose one, I would definitely have to pick... Um... To be honest, I actually don't have an enemy. Too bad. I, I actually don't have an enemy. Oh. Well, uh, what about you, uh... Tisuyami? Um, who would be your mortal enemy? Oh, well, um, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't know. Because I have had my fair share of evil creatures, and of course villains, but it's hard to pick just one. Um, I honestly don't know. Well, I guess I don't have a mortal enemy either. Wow, so only Susano has a mortal enemy? Wow. Well, okay. Well, anyway, um, okay, so anyway, Sonic, go ahead and ask the next question. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just a little bit sleepy. 
After all, I just got back from this long, long trip. I'm just so happy to be home, finally. I'm just so happy to be home with my wife and child. I mean, they missed me dearly. I mean, I don't know what my wife's been up to when I, when I was gone, but I really hope she didn't get into any trouble. But anyway, um, go ahead, Sonic, and ask the next question. All right, so this question here is for... How? Um, Amaterasu. Um, Amaterasu, real quick. Um, are you sure it's forbidden for mortals to touch it? To touch your shield? Because if I remember correctly, I was the one who used your shield to my advantage. Okay, okay, I lied. I lied. Okay, I lied. It's not forbidden for mortals to touch my shield. Or her medallion. Or her sword. Okay, I'm just saying. But, it's just that we're really hostile about our things. Because way back when we were younger, everybody was always trying to touch our stuff. Heck, we even tried touching our own stuff. I mean, one time we even tried switching weapons. That blew up in our faces. Literally. So, yeah. That's why we don't like people touching our weapons. So, yeah. Okay. Good to know. Well... Good thing I have my own weapon. Man, I'm getting really sleepy. But anyway, let's just wrap this up. Okay, so, well, anyway, uh, Sonic, you can go ahead and ask the last question for this. Alright then. So, this question here is for Susano. Susano, out of all the beatings that you've given me, do you still love me? I mean, of course I do, Sonic. I mean... You may, I mean, hey, you may be a knucklehead and everything, but I still love you very much. I mean, sure, you do kind of get on my nerves. You sometimes cheat on me, but I still do love you. I mean, hey, think about it like this: if you didn't love me, would I had your what? What if I if I had if you didn't love me, then would I have had your child? Um, to be honest, you would have had my child either way. I mean, we do it almost every single day. And, you know. Okay! Now we're putting to an... Okay, now we're doing this... Okay, now we're ending this thing. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed our special 20th episode of Ask the Sonic Crew. Just a minute. Okay, what is it, Susano? Flame, you know how all our worlds are connected? Yeah. Well, we have been watching you for the longest time. Huh? Okay, what's up? Well... Uh, what's up, Toy... T what's up, um... Uh, Tisuyami? Well, on Observant, we've seen how strong and powerful you are. And you were also worried, and you're very caring to people. Thank you, Amaterasu. So, what does this mean? It means that you have been chosen to become a god. Wait, a god? Me? Yes, that's right. You have been chosen to become Flame, the god of power. Wow, the god of power. That's very cool. But will I, but will I have to leave my home? Of course not. You, I mean, I'm just saying. It's your choice if you want to leave or not. But since you don't want to leave, it's very clear that us gods and goddesses will have to move to our to your world. Well, it is well, you guys are already moved in. We just have to sign the treaty. Me and your father, we just have to sign the treaty. Wow, I can't believe it. I'm actually going to become a god? Yes, you are. And your wife and child, they're actually going to become goddesses. Wow. They're actually... Wow. But wait, what about the rest of my family? Oh, they're going to become gods and goddesses too. Wow. So, basically, almost everybody that I'm related to, they're going to become gods and goddesses? Yes. Wow. And here I am training... Wow. And here I am training to become king of Mobius. You'll still become king of Mobius, just with godlike powers. Wow, that's very cool. 
So, I'll be Flame the Dragonhog, King of Mobius, and the God of... And the God of Power. Now that's something. Yes, it is something. And, and, <laughs> with great power comes great responsibility. You got that from Spider-Man, didn't you? Yes, I did. <laughs> but anyway, make sure you use your powers for two things. One, helping others. And two, stopping evil. Well, that's pretty much what I do every day. Good. Okay, well, but wait a minute. Will I have to go through a certain procedure? Yes, you do. And, you know, I changed my mind. All your family members can't be gods and goddesses. I guess it's just you. Well, I guess so. Well, okay then. But how will I become a god? Well, we'll discuss that another day. But, I, but know this. It's going to take the power of all the gods and it's gonna take the power of all the goddesses and plus our father oh well okay then wow congratulations <laughs> I was only I only became a god just by never giving up but you you actually became a god from you know being super strong and powerful <laughs> wish I had it easy like you well, you literally, uh, well, you literally got beaten up, you got almost died, and se several times. Me, I got beaten up, and I actually died. But luckily, thanks to my friend, I got brought back, and my mom also got brought back and everything, but still. Anyway, let's just wrap this video up. I can't believe it, guys. I'm about to become a god. <laughs> so, will I be able to turn into a super being just like you guys? Yes. Cool. Well, like I said before, guys, we have reached the end of our 20th episode of Ask the Sonic Crew. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Oh, and also one other thing. I'm just speaking out of character. <clears throat> guys, I really do apologize for not making any videos um, Friday and Saturday. I just needed a break from making videos. I just needed a two-day break. I mean, yeah. I just needed a two day I just needed a two day break from making videos. I mean I get tired easily, so yeah. <clears throat> anyway, thank you so much for watching this 20th special of Ask the Sonic Crew. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and comment down below. And be sure to watch and be sure to keep an eye out for Wednesday's video. Because I will be telling you guys who will be joining me for the next episode of Ask the Sonic Crew. Anyway, anyway, um, oh yeah, and if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way you guys will be up to date whenever I post. And if you guys, and like I said before in the beginning guys, I will try my best to bring on the goddesses from the Supersonic X universe universe and i'll also bring on one very special character from that universe who i really want you guys to meet <laughs> you guys will definitely like her she's a little bit crazy but you guys might like her but any but anyway this is flame the dragon hog sonic the hedgehog susano tsuyami and amaterasu signing out for now later flamethrowers <laughs>